Today's episode of Maker Monday is brought to you by icstation.com. Welcome to the first episode of Maker Mondays, where I'll try to respond to your questions and comments from the community. First up, I didn't know there's something like Electric Imp, thanks for sharing. Do you have to use the cloud to run the Imp? Yes, you have to use the cloud to run the imp, I'm afraid. The OS that runs on the imp just uses the uh, code coming down from the cloud, so we'll see how that works in an upcoming video. I'd really like to get something like the imp, but I'm put off why you can't host the whole cloud on your hardware under your control. When these companies hit a rough patch, the whole of all of their hardware will go away in a microsecond. Yes, that is a bit of a concern, unfortunately. You have to keep in mind that these things are marketed towards commercial hardware, not necessarily strictly for us makers. So they're making it a lot easier for people out there to mass market some uh, Internet of Things items. So it's a trade off. We'll see how it goes. Great. Now you can be late for work. When your boss asks you, why are you 10 hours late? You'll answer, I spent most of the morning and day and a bit of evening checking weather. Yep, that's kind of a bit of a drawback of playing around with uh, SDR and decoding satellite images. It can be a little addictive. Hey, it is what it is, guys. Great to see a new mail video from you. A bit off topic, did you ever use that ultrasonic fog maker thing? Yes, I did. I did not make a video of it. I used it for an ultrasonic mister for an upcoming project that you haven't seen on the channel yet. Hopefully I'll be able to share some of that sometime soon. The mister works fine. There's lots of videos on YouTube. You can check them out. Uh, just just Google around a little bit and you'll find them. Awesome intro animation. Thanks, Wesley. I really appreciate that. Uh, that intro was actually bought from Fiverr.com. Uh, for five bucks, you can get yourself an intro just like it. There's all kinds of options out there. I'm really impressed with the service I got on that. Uh, I actually got two versions of it because the version I picked and, and I had chosen was not suitable, but the, the vendor decided to uh, make their own and uh, picked out something a lot better. Really impressed. On the Imp, I've heard of them, open up a lot of cool opportunities, but tried to forget about it since they're so expensive. Yeah, they are a little pricey, but not ridiculous. Compared to some of the other microcontrollers out there, I'd say they're on par. Uh, it really depends on what you're going for and uh, what you're trying to achieve. So uh, it's a bit of a trade-off. We'll see how it goes. Amazing videos. Love your work. Thanks, Philip. Really appreciate that. Love hearing these, this feedback from the community. I uh, really enjoyed some of those projects with the InMove robotic arm, and I uh, look forward to some more robotics coming up. What kind of fisheye lens did you use? It was the GoPro Hero 2 stock lens. Nothing fancy, guys. That's, uh, that's all it was. Thanks to Brett for donating that GoPro for the project, and I think it turned out pretty good. Bags and bags of rotary encoders. Sounds like heaven. Where did you get those? I got those from eBay. Uh, most of my projects come from eBay. Whenever possible, I try and source locally, but uh, at the end of the day, if you're buying a bulk quantity of components, you can't beat some of the prices on eBay, guys. Hi, Eric. I'm working on a NeuroSky mind wave to control a robot, and I faced such a huge problem with connecting the sensor with the robot by SparkFun Bluetooth. It didn't work. I'm fried. I have to discard the embedded system and replacing it with a computer using MATLAB, and that's a problem. Well, that is a bit of a problem. My only advice would be break the project down. If it's a Bluetooth giving you trouble, just start with a very basic Bluetooth sketch like I outlined on my Bluetooth video. Get that working and build it up piece by piece. And on top of that, print to serial whenever possible. Use serial data to troubleshoot where the problem is happening in the code. If you can see it in serial, but you don't over Bluetooth, you'll know what's going on. Inspiring project. Shocked and amazed you recovered the spacecraft. I was a little shocked and amazed too. Uh, I was pretty happy we recovered it, but there was a lot of legwork went into that project before I started. You'll see on my channel there was 14 or so videos of the build. I tested and tested and tested things. It turned out in the end the testing still wasn't sufficient. We did have telemetry failure for the majority of the flight. Next flight, I think we'll get it a little better. I really miss your videos. Keep up good work. Thanks. I really appreciate comments like this. This really helps me. Uh, really enjoy hearing from you guys. Enjoyed it. Like I said before, really enjoy hearing from you guys. Really like the positive feedback. Really like any feedback, positive or negative, guys. I need to learn Arduino. Please tell me about any course for learning Arduino, please. My advice, don't use a course. There's no need. There's tons of information out there on learning how to work with Arduino. 
I didn't read any books or a course. I used YouTube extensively and Google for the rest. Just start off really small. Start off with basic projects and don't start with something you're not interested in. Stick to what you want to build and then build it up piece by piece. Uh, try not to take off a, a huge project. You can obviously start with a basic blink sketch and get an idea of the, the code and how it works. But from there, just start adding what you're interested in and, uh, and build from there. It's, it's not nearly as hard as you think and it will become easier in time. Don't worry if your code is messy. Mine is horribly messy at times, but I'm getting a lot better. Just, just time. That, that's all it takes and a little bit of persistence and, and you'll get there. That's it for today, guys. Really appreciate you joining me today. Remember to comment down below, like, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter or Facebook. I read every single comment, guys. I may not always get back to all of them in a timely manner, but I do try. Really enjoy hearing from you guys in the community. Thanks for watching.